Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Robert Luigi. In the last episode, we explored vast reaches of uh, uh, this place, which is Hyrule Kingdom. We got to Hateno Village, we did that shrine, which is actually really hard. Um, and we're going to go back there, but I would like to get a fast travel point for Karako Village, because as you can see, we have no way of getting back here very quickly, which seems like, you know, it's quite a major place. Don't know if you know anything about Zelda history, but... Uh, Kakariko, yeah, Kakariko Village is quite important, has been important in a lot of Zelda games. So I would like a way of getting back here, back here quickly. That's why we're going to be doing this nice and quickly, hopefully. It'll be a simple shrine. Got it. I've got a feeling in my bones. It'll be really simple and not at all confusing. The last one wasn't confusing. It was just difficult because it was tilt controls and my uh, my brain doesn't necessarily work very well with tilt control. It, it works fine. It's just too precise, so you can't... Um, Blame the controller. I, we went through that last episode. Hopefully, this will be nice and simple and nice and oh, it's very open plan. I'm concerned. T teaching, teaching is a concern, or was it was it always a teaching? I'm not sure. I shall open every chest and be maybe killed by some of them. What's happening? Oh, I you have you you have piqued my interest all of a sudden, very immediately, because this looks incredibly open plan. You give me a weapon. Implies we have a combat trial, so uh, this will be a shield if I'm right, and I feel like I might be. Okay, so... <laughs> oh no! Well, it's an interesting way of starting off the episode, that's for sure. Um, you sure you don't want me to use my hoe? Well, I've got a hoe. Um, eightfold blade. So what we have are really cool weapons, which we're gonna use up immediately, I can tell. It's, it's better. It's durability is low. Any better durability? Would be nice to have a gauge for the durability on weapons, but I guess in a way not having a gauge is realistic. You never know. You can probably see by like shattered bits of whatever that they might not be working at 100% capacity. Oh god, that's kind of interesting. <clears throat> interesting in many ways. Uh, use, the, use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. The secret an opening that you can use to strike back. I can actually- that was a rhyme? Side hop. Oh no. So you target the enemy, you strafe and you jump. That sounds really simple. I feel like I might, might have done that before. So like, you know, hi, it's me. Am I, you know, gonna fight me? Yeah, you try, you try and fight me. Oh, I pressed the button. Didn't want to press the button. You fight me, yeah. You, you hit me, yeah. No, I should, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, that's fine. It's going well. You fight me, yeah. This is, oh, a flurry rush. I heard about these, i.e. you've done a perfect dodge. Now you can fuck the thing up like, way more than you'd think. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Interesting what place to have a, uh, a tutorial, I guess. So exactly the same, but we jump back. Nice, like it. So, you wanna fight me? Fucking try me, fucking try me. I'm, I'm a pro at these games. Yeah, I'm a, such a pro! How can I do a flurry rush when I'm this far away? There you go. Link's got a bit of a, uh, athleticism to him. Nice. This tutorial robot is very interesting. You can repel attack if you parry with your shield at the, just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. How do I strike with my shield? Uh, A? Ready shield and parry with A. So like, like, hang on, I'm not targeted. Then parry with A, so, um, yeah, no, try it again. Try me again. Uh, now, yeah, that's a, that's a parry. Um, he wasn't vulnerable. Okay, <clears throat> at least we're learning things. Pull up your power and release it to un uh, release it to unleash a charge attack. Charge your enemies in this motion to damage them. Catch your enemies. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so we build up power. Press, or build up power, and then release. So hold it down and then charge it up. So yeah, nice. So that's how we do spin attacks. I like it. Guardian sword, which is even better. We should have come here a lot earlier. We should have really pursued this. Really tried to find this shrine because it's given us a whole lot of interesting weapons. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. Is that the end of the shrine? Is this a gauntlet where there's more things? I believe it might be the end of the shrine. If not, I'm okay with it not being the end of the shrine, because this is some dope-ass shit, okay? It's not a word I use often. Guardian sword is mine. Ancient, two ancient screws are mine as well. My sword, kinda cool. Is what we picked up better? Yes it is. <laughs> oh god, 20, and it glows blue. Okay. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Just having a slight moment over here. Is this the end of the shrine? I think it might be. God, it glows blue. You have my... <laughs> it's just so good. What What are we getting at the end of this? This is our special treasure. It is opal, which is not quite as good. That's fine. Anything else in here? I know there is a special hidden treasure in every shrine. Or in, like, most of them. Because if we go here, we can see we've got it here. Uh, if we go to... That one's got it. This one's got it. That one, I don't think... Had, uh, the towers don't have that. 
That one has. I think we missed the bomb one. Where's the bomb one? Shrine of Resurrection is not one. Uh, this one's the bomb one. The bomb one does not have a chest next to the name, so we missed out the special hidden treasure in that shrine. Which is lovely. Are you going to say anything else? Or some anything different? Because this was a very interesting shrine. Uh, the triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin from the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. Nice. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Yes, I like it. Slightly different. I do enjoy variants in puzzles or something. I'll just leave, okay? Is that good? Goddess Spirit Orb on our, on our way to the next upgrade, whatever it may be. Not entirely. I haven't decided yet. I don't know what I want next because you've got one of each at the moment. Do we go for more stamina? Do we feel a need for more stamina? Top right, the circle and the little bit of circle, which I didn't really understand, is for stamina. I know that now. So we're like a sixth of the way to getting another wheel entirely. It didn't look like that. It looked like we were more like a quarter of the way to a new wheel. I don't really know. We won't worry about it. I'm going to go back to Hateno Village, which I can do through the magic of fast travel. Imagine if we didn't do that weird tilty puzzle in the last episode. We'd have to go all that distance. Let's not think about that, because that's frankly crazy talk. It's fine. Fast travel is a beautiful thing. It's the sort of thing where you don't really notice it. You take it for granted in games because it's so commonplace. When you don't have it, that's when you realize the importance of being able to go from one place to the next as quickly as possible. Although, not necessarily in order to discover it for the first time, because that takes out a lawful lot of the discovery um, a part of that. I guess you could uh, avoid fast travel altogether, just so you have an opportunity to go over some locations you've been through before. I'm going to do a tiny bit of exploring off camera, and I'll let you know if there's anything interesting. This is exactly why, because there's a lot of houses, there were quite a few in Kakariko Village, which are empty. They have beds, I can't sleep in them, so... I'll try and streamline this process just a little bit. Oh, I think I know what these are, because I've read about this. A new age of comfort. Bolson construction homes ooze quality from every seam. Explore our model homes today. I.e., these are houses built to be sold? Can we buy a house in this game? I, I read somewhere that you could. Or I saw somewhere, as in someone had, like, a house, and it was theirs, and they had their shit in it. I, it's like Skyrim. It's like, was it Half Hearthstone? What, what was that? What was the expansion? Something like that, where you can have your own house. I like. Also, I found you can chop these down, but they don't give you anything, which is a little bit disappointing. And I feel maybe a, uh, a use of my my magic sword, which is um, not really the best use. Hello, what do you want? Hey, this is private property here. Don't make me call uh, someone. You sound very sure of yourself. I'm sorry, that wasn't very nice of me at all. You're not a weirdo, I, I can tell. You're probably a great person to talk to. Don't assume. Oh, no, there I go again. Just talking with no purpose. I get carried away and just don't know when to quit. Well... We sound like soulmates. Let's go with that. It really drives my husband crazy when I just can't find my point. Well, we sound like good friends. Mm -hmm. I guess, could you just go somewhere else, please? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for speaking so harshly. Please enjoy this apology egg. <laughs> Made me think there's something called an apology egg in this game. We've got a bird egg. I, I did think of buying one last episode, but I'm personally glad now that we didn't, since we were just given an apology egg. That's uh, what weird customs there are in, in this age of Hyrule. These houses do have a lot of things in them. Not necessarily important things. Gotta say, the aesthetics of this place are just beautiful. I guess Kakariko Village was also quite good, but it seem, seems like a very busy village. Quite an open plan village, but very busy. Okay, I got this. Greeting time. You're a customer, right? Mm, yeah, go on. And what are you selling? Hey. Han, it's a customer! Looks like he's hungry to have his clothes dyed. I'll leave it to you. I can have my clothes dyed? That seems funky. I don't- oh god. I don't think I've really got clothes that I want to dye at this moment. Welcome, if you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Hugh to Hugh- hang on. Hugh do you do? That's a hard thing to say. That is not even a pun. Welcome to Kochi's Dye Shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients in 20 rupees to dye an item, that includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get up to the color of your choosing. I just want to check it out. Wonderful! Now, now wait up there. I'll be just a minute. You are the most terrifying character we've seen in this game. Maybe just the, the voice I've given you. It's the Hateno tradition to dye a person's whole outfit from head to toe all at once. Alright, choose your dye color. Or go ahead and change clothes. I am just want to see. What dye color would you- Oh no. What dye color would you like? I am terrified. I could do green, which just makes it look like a tool. Uh, <laughs> I don't really want to dye myself. I, just, I mean, it's good to have this option. It does look terrifying though. And it's at least it's kind of like like accented bits on the doublet. 
green just looks bizarre. I could be purple, Link. I, I, I'll i leave it for now. All right, no, we'll just get... Oh, we'll just, never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. I've wasted your time. I'm so... I'll come back when I've got things I don't want to wear, and I'll dye that something dumb, and we'll all laugh at it. Maybe I can find cheap clothes in the clothes store, because they were so cheap in Kakariko Village. Ah, uh, I can almost afford that, hilariously. Hylian trousers are still absurdly expensive for what they are. Got, like, soldier's kit, which is good for armor, but I imagine quite slow or something. Warm Duble, we have one of them. It's 80 rupees. As a sort of real incentive to sell some of our stuff, but it might be useful. I'm terrified. I presume you're just what- well, you just look terrifying. Your eyes are very far apart. Welcome, welcome. That's the kind of voice I imagine. Every everyday clothes, armor for soldiers. We have it all vest- ven- these names! Ventest clothing. That sounds about right. Did you need something? Uh, you like this corner. You clearly do. Yes? Oh! I am desolate too far in the corner. Is it hard to see me? I know it's a little weird, but I just feel more confident over here. Do you need anything else? I'm gonna go. That's okay with you. When I have money, I'll be back and I'll buy some wonderful clothes and we'll have a wonderful time. At the moment, I'm just trying to find my place in this world and generally try and go towards that place and you got my attention. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. What great weather. It's kind of, it's okay. The East Wind General Store is open and it's just as lively inside there as it is out here. Go take a look. So you're just an advertising person. Okay, we'll go in here. Did we go in here before? I think we, we did go in here before. Little kids, hi! How are you doing? Hey! Hey, mister, did you come from the big wide world? Well, I did. I killed many people. You look like you're- You look like you're- Ah! Uh, you look like you're good of a bow and sword, so you must be pretty strong. Are you strong or what? Yeah, I kind of. I bet you can use all sorts of different weapons, right? So, do you want to help a kid's dream to come true? My Gramps is dead now, but when he was alive, he loved weapons, though he never got to see all the ones he wanted. So you bring me weapons and show them to me, and then I can tell Gramps about him when I meet him again. Oh, that's that's a bit of, they were terrifying. Yeah, I knew you'd do it. You're actually, okay, you, you've got a relatively deep voice. Hmm, where should we start? Have you heard of the Traveler's Sword? Oh, God. I've seen it in books, but never in real, li real life before. If you find it, please let me see it. Oh, that's going to be irritating, but that's fine. How are you doing? Haha, <laughs> fun to run, fun, fun. I love to run. Love talking. Ask me a question. Uh, what do you like doing, kid? Want shiny jewels? Shiny money love? Huh, mister? What is it? You have opal? Yes, so many. Sell it, be rich. Talk more. Uh, what do you like to do other than talk? I like catching bugs, shiny bugs. Crouch down and quietly approach the bug. If you do that, you'll catch the bug. That's where I was fucking up. I'm not quiet enough. Who do you like? I love my mommy. That's nice. But my mommy, she's always talking to her with her friend. You're not supposed to interrupt them. The only way I've been able to talk to her when she's with her friend is to sneak up from behind. That's terrifying. You're a terrifying, high-energy kid. My my worst nightmare. I, I used to do a, uh, uh, teaching assistant sort of, what was it? Yeah, just teaching assistant stuff in schools. Kids are massively full of energy, and I'm not at that, I wasn't at that age. I was just like, oh, I'm here because I need to be here rather than because I want to be here. And they just, they just never stop talking. Your eyes are incredibly narrow. Uh, uh, are you a man or a woman? Checking out today, too. The checking just never stops. I'm not sure. Ever stayed at the Tonpu Inn? No, I haven't. What's it like? If you're not staying there, then uh, I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Yeah, okay. How am I doing? Thought so. I know things... You're you're probably a person. Probably a man. That's not... <laughs> ignore that. I know things have, have been peaceful recently, but the outside world was still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I've got to check and make sure if any beauties are... I, I mean, spish, suspicious folks have come around here. Beauties? Tell me about the beauties, sir. Ah... <sighs> If you're lucky enough to stay in the Tom Poo Inn, you'll see what I mean. Hel say hello to Prima. Prima Prima. Isn't that a, like a strategy guide for me if you do? Not well, that she even knows who I am. Oh, we're unrequited something. This is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Tom Poo Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for m my, my buddy's friend. Okay, that's a half a side quest. Um, I'm gonna try and go this way before we get massively distracted. I want to do things this episode. I'm... I'm slightly limited on time. I may just, I might just make this a very large episode because I want to, su I want to get two in, but I think my time restrictions mean that I would only get two short ones in. So we'll make it one massive episode or something. I, I say that now. You, you'll be able to see if it's actually massive. I'll say it's a massive episode, and it's actually like 20 minutes long, which would be another five minutes. I can, I can keep going. Uh, my, my, my stamina has been improved last episode, and you know that's not, a, that's a tentative link. We're still kind of just going. Up, aren't we? Ancient tech lab. A Hateno pasture or pasture. Don't get distracted. It's a cow. I like cows. I got a massive affinity for cows. Hey, you. What's going on? What, what do you want? You, you know, you, you, you asked me. Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. 
You seem harmless enough. Forgive me. I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. Do I look like, do I look, do I look like a monster to you? Except maybe the the bandana, maybe? Uh. They come up from Hateno Beach to steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do any, something soon, I won't have any left. So you want me to fight some monsters on the beach? Sheep rustlers? Where are these... Where's the, Where's this beach you speak of? I don't know. All I've seen is mountains. Mountains tend to be quite far removed from uh, sheep, I think. I'll come back to you. Don't get distracted. This game is is the king of being distracted. And in a way, that just means you've got more to do. And so you'll never run out of things to do. Kid, retreat. What are you retreating from? I don't know. I'll fight them. Where's, the, where's this beach you speak of? Because I don't see no beach. Just gradually going up. I know there's going to be monsters coming out of the ground soon. I'm just curious enough to sit on a beach. There is a shrine out in the middle of nowhere. That's kind of interesting. Maybe if we have, inf maybe if we had infinite stamina, we could swim or glide there. But at the moment, I'd like to do the damn thing. I'd like to go this way. Why am I going like as the crow flies? I'll tell you why. Because we've almost got the stamina to do so. Except we come to, uh, we could maybe do that. Maybe not do that. I'd, I'd like to try. Is this the way down to the beach? That looks like a beach. We'll do that at some point in the future. Let me just check. I'm concerned. Hateno Beach Ancient Tech Lab. We'll go up here. I have an awesome... I This sword is amazing. It's a little thing. I, I finally feel like we found a sword that I'd like to keep for a while, but I imagine this won't be the case. We're getting the Master Sword at some point in this game. No soliciting! I will not do that. We're getting the Master Sword at some point in this game, and I'm wondering if that has durability. You'd think no, but everything else does. Interesting dilemma to approach. Mind the lanterns! I'm d what do you think I'm doing? What do you want to do with these lanterns? I'll light them for you. They're not actually lit yet. They're not... It doesn't come on automatically. What does this one say? I don't know. Enter at your own risk! I'm... I'm very risky. I'm starting to think this is all the more risky as we approach it. Seems a little bit scary. Hello? If the flame is blue, the furnace is hot! Don't I touch! I will not touch. Ancient tech lab. So this must be Sheikah stuff. It got the eye of the Sheikah on the front door. So, are any of you Sheikah? I'll take a torch or something. Or one of these. That's for... Oh, I'm gonna burp. No, it's fine. Hello. How's... Oh, how's everyone doing? Good evening. Oh, I'm burping again. It's fine. This is the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? Probably. The director is in the back. A terrible... A terrible... Yeah. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. I will... Pure... Purer. I almost read that's puree. It's a different thing. Hello. Good evening. Uh, I imagine you've you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well, uh, hmm, is that is that thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? Is that there's no mistaking it? That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could show me the ruins, the ruins. If you could just show me the ruins on it, I'd be most appreciative. Like actually physically show them. Stasis, ah, magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb and cryonis, what else? Let's see. So that's it for the runes, but, hmm, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic room. It seems like you have the basic runes. I don't understand what why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is, oh, my name is Simon. Si Simon, Simon, S Simon, but spelled in a weird way. You are Link, right? You know my name. You creepy man. Lady Impa caught up. Uh, Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we we were told a young man holding a sleeker sleeker slate, sheeker slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the he will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director! Listen, Miss Director! This is a real Sheikah Slate! Director? Who's the director around here? Oh, that's right, I haven't introduced our director. Coming out of the door. Oh. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab Director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Oh, that's hard to say. It's her. That's it. Oh, God. Check it! Oh, God. This became incredibly animu all of a sudden. I have the utmost I, I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I am honored to be called her assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura, Pura herself. I keep thinking puree. It's not puree. Puree is a different thing. Okay. I don't know. She said the director was in the back. I'm confused. <laughs> hey, hey, are you surprised? 
The director of this laboratory is not Simon! It's me, I'm so glad it's not Simon. Snappity snap, I am so glad I don't have to say his name very often. Anyway, Linky, oh god. Do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You you do still remember me, right? I have no recollection. Was she there a hundred years ago? That seems incredible. Really? Well, I'm so shocked it I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago I took you to the Shrine of Restoration after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? I... no. You don't look a hundred. Hmm, as I as expected. After a hundred years in the Slumber of Restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have a bit. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Many questions. Many, many questions. How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, uh, I looked this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Why would you tell me and then tell me not to? Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after a hundred years. Yep. I look perfectly normal. Yep, that's fine. Especially the bandana. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda, that is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. Oh, we got a, like, a broken iPod. That's wonderful. And what do you say to that? Uh, yeah, okay. I knew you'd say that. I mean, why would I say no? Uh, Alright then, first I, need to I first I need you to run an errand for me. Anything in particular? What's with that look on your face? You didn't think- No, there's no look on his face. You did Maybe there is? Is he looking- is there a scowl on his face? Mm, not really. You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? I love being able to move around. Hmm, post-slumber restoration subjects is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the you know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside the, this laboratory. Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town and oh 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 and also use it to light our furnace? The sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allow us allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh? I wonder if young women these days still say th still say things like sweet and little. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, oh, okay then. I'm counting on you for that blue flame. So she's like a hundred and whatever, but she's trapped in the body of like a, a not a hundred and whatever person. That's that's nice. Where is this blue flame? Blue flame is all the way down there. Uh, let's just... I want to check. So we just... If I just fly in this direction, does the wind help? The wind is going in that direction. So I'll just kind of do this for now. There's a boat down there. Don't get distracted. Kind of try and go in the right direction and maybe we'll have an easier time of getting things done in this episode. I'm not too adverse to exploring, but my concern is that I'll explore in one direction and not find anything substantial, and I have to be remotely entertaining. This is very- this is a very good idea to do this. Just go. Just go in a direction using my, uh, my- my sail cloth paraglider. It's called a paraglider. Now what? Uh, that's a fine question. Do we- do we know how to- how to pick this up? Where's my adventure log? Uh, carry the blue flame. How do we carry the blue flame? Oh, we got a top- I'm gonna go back up for this. I'm gonna go find a torch. Hello, dog. You're my favorite, and I'm your favorite, apparently. Am I getting distracted again? Okay, so now I have a torch. Now we should be able to use it on this flex. Where is it? Uh, there's my torch. I have a torch. It's here. I'd like to use it on this. There we go. We now have blue flame, and we're gonna take it very slowly back to where it needs to go. I jumped in a river. I'm not allowed to run. Running will put the torch away. This may take a very long time. It took me so long to get here, it is now morning. So I'm glad we have done this thing. How do I strike this? Do I just go near it? Or do we have to actually physically strike it? I don't know. I'll strike it. Or just do that. There we go. Oh, gotta test something. Uh, her tenant lab is now set as a travel gate. That's very useful. I just want to test something. Where's my run button? That's my run button. It does put it out. I'm glad I never pressed the B button. Oh, God. Please fix my shit, lady. I think I deserve it. Good morning. Yes, it took me all, all evening. Linky, thanks so- thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. That thing is now activated. The guidance stone must be start- uh, must be starting to react. That- 
that's that that works. Uh, there's nothing mysterious. Must must. Yeah. There's nothing mysterious about that. This is pure science. <laughs> My sweet little guidance stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. That's nice. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah slate ruins ruin ruins for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Snap. Snap. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Okay then. Sheikah slate repair underway. Guidance stone lock removed. Wow. Now let's do this thing. Snap, as in like a snap, or physically want me to snap? What kind of snap? I just did what you asked me to do, lady. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I carried a sl I carried a, sh a, a flaming torch so very far. Patience, not necessarily uh, where it should be. Camera, Hyrule com Compendium, lovely, brilliant word. Uh, an album missing files confirmed. What about the rune, starting repair? What runes are you going to give me? I don't know what runes are left from what I've seen of the game, though I don't think I remember seeing stasis in any kind of showcase, so I'm interested. What are you going to give me? Just one that I'm missing or more than one? What are you going to do, game? Just that one or more? Just that one. That's for camera. Render a visible image into a picture. Uh, saved in the album, it is a useful feature that connects the Hyrule Compendium and automatically registers new of new entries. What does that mean? How is that useful? I don't know. Did I take them? I don't remember taking those pictures. Don't pretend that I did. Hyrule Compendium. I love that word. I'll keep saying it. I think it's just like an encyclopedia of, of things. Uh, so we can now... Oh, it's more, more things I need to do in order to do this game 100%, which I'd like to do. But it's gonna make it tricky. You're gonna do that. I mean, fine. Uh, and it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Probably. Hmm, let's see here. Which one is left? Which one is it? Uh, camera, Hyrule Compendium album. Yep, looks good. Uh, so, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Oh, God. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. This is combining, like, a bunch of things and importantly, like, fucking, uh, hang on, that button. The, the, the pictograph in Wind Waker, which was a long thing. It took a long time to complete, is my thinking. So, this could be... A long time going! Snap! Uh, how's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with the camera? Uh, I took, I, you know, I won't call it cute. Oh, I can't wait to see. Let me see, let me see. Oh, God. Why is it now a camera phone? I mean, it's okay if it's a camera phone. Hmm? My, who is this beautiful young creature? I don't know. You still sound like puree to me. Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. I wasn't, it wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's not just a pretty go in these images. Yes, those are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Link, it, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you, can, you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. Oh, right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome, you think? But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the uh, missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest that you, you check in with Impa. She knows even more about Princess Zelda than even I do. That's... Oh, oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You need a lot from me. You don't have to worry about this until you uh, until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring back uh, bring me back some ancient materials. Bring back to me either, either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if... My, as if... <laughs> What a name! As if my joy wasn't enough. Uh, weren't enough. If you bring us some ancient materials, uh, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do- let's do this. What kind of ancient materials would you like? Does that say anything? Uh, like a, a side quest? This thing. Ancient materials. I don't really- like, springs? Maybe? I don't know. I'll talk to you, because that might be helpful. Uh, good morning! What do you need? Uh, no, it's not really helpful. So, curious. Uh, that's okay. okay. That's <laughs> somehow got a side quest out of there. So I can take a picture of him. Maybe. Maybe. Hello. Terrified man. That's wonderful. Um, I don't know why that suddenly zoomed in a lot. We go to this one. This one. This one. Not that one. This one. So many menus. Try and keep up. Uh, does this add it to the compendium? Where's my people? Monsters, materials, equipment. Oh, the equipment and the treasure. We don't have to take pictures of equipment, do we? I don't know how we can do that. That seems annoying. Okay, so does this does this get automatically added, or has it got something to do with the compendium? Because I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the compendium. All of this, very beautiful, 
a, a look into what kind of places we're going to be going in this game, and they look up utterly stunning, if I must say so. Wonderful. So I think we go back to Impa now. Uh, kind of almost done here. I'm going to try and get her to say something about Ancient Springs. If not, I'll see you at Karaka Village. Oh, hello. You'll need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. You'll need three ancient shafts, well then, to power up your remote bombs. You'll need three ancient cores to power up stasis. If you're on the same page, stop staring at me. Hurry up and bring some ancient materials. I'm pretty sure, uh, I, you know, if we do this the right way, if we actually press the right button, which I have no idea what the right button is anymore, uh, ancient springs, or springs or screws? Which one did you want? I mean, I've got screws. Would you like some screws? Have some screws. Uh, hello. Um, hi. Can we talk? I don't want to drop them. Can we talk about, like, screws? Oh, I can power up my Sheikah Slate! I have ancient materials. What's it gonna do? Now then, in exchange for those uh, ancient materials, I'll power up a rune on your Sheikah Slate. I don't know what I want. So, which rune do you want to power up? Uh, Sheikah Sensor, I guess. That's all I can do. Uh, three ancient screws should do the trick. Yes, it will. Uh, and a cute snap. Here we go. Snap! Snap! Yes, that's what you want, isn't it? Okay then, Shika sensor upgrade. Underway. Guidance stone lock removed. We're doing this again. Now, let's do this thing. Yeah! Rock and roll! What's it gonna do? I guess it... We saw it had options, so it's gonna give me something else to sense for. Like, towers or something? I'm not sure. I'll never get tired of seeing this. This little cutscene... The distilling of the rune. I love it. Pleases me so much. Anyway. <laughs> Give me something good, game. I'm giving up three ancient screws, which I'm sure are valuable. Maybe I can sell them. Uh, if your sense will be augmented to search for other things, set to the shrine. Head in the direction where the reaction is strongest? Oh, compendium items. I completely ignored that. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Compendium items. There's a lot of those. Maybe it'll be really useful when we actively are looking to complete that. At the moment, I'm just gonna go and do what I like to do. Just play the game normally. Hopefully, we'll trip over companion items as we go. Yahoo! That's uh, fine. My little guy still did the trick. That's wonderful. I'd like to leave now. Is that, if that's okay, everybody. Oh, the Shiga, the, the Shiga Sensor Plus. I really want to see it. Okay. Uh, yes, quite. So if you don't mind, how about showing Sim- oh, I hate that name. That spiffy Sheikah Sensor Plus later. Okay, I'll show you it now. I'm eventually gonna go to Emperor at some point. Ah, uh, you've acquired the Sheikah Sensor Plus. That should really come in handy. With that, you can sense things that you've captured with your camera. That sounds really useful, actually. Uh, explaining won't do justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. That's not funny. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sunshroom of a camera. Uh, there is- there is one behind the lab. Okay. I mean, we'll go to- we'll go to Impa at some point, and definitely before we get to the end of the episode, but I'm kind of invested in this all of a sudden. Where is a shun- a shun- shuns- shuns room? Very hard words to say. Is it one of these? I don't- I don't want to pick it up. We'll just take a picture of it. Uh, yes. No, this one. Take a picture of a sun shroom. Yeah. Nice. What does that help me? It's now added to the compendium, which is nice. What about this? It's a- it's a lizard! It's mine! Okay, we'll save it, see what it does. Uh... Getting after it. We can zoom, how do we zoom? Uh... Is the, no, hang on. No! I'm so confused. Zoom is- okay, it's these. No, that's a selfie. We could do that and get a soldier's bow. Yeah. Soldier's bow! Bit confusing. Did that work? Didn't seem like it got anything. Uh... Hold it in place. Yeah! that work any better? I'm not sure. Added to- this is gonna be very irritating, but I'm gonna spend a little time doing it. You do realize that taking all these pictures, I have to delete them afterwards. Uh... Okay, I have to delete them right now. Oh, I see. So what you do is you take a picture of the item, and if you want that item again, you can target it with the sensor, which is mildly useful. Take a picture of the really valuable stuff. Such as this farming hoe, because I've always wanted to farm hoes. We should try and finish this little side quest up. Ah, uh, were you able to take a picture of a sunshroom? Yeah, it's a brilliant picture. Let me confirm. Yeah, check out my picture. You want to see my picture? Uh, it seems like, you've got a, seems like you've got a picture of a sunshroom. Excellent. Next, open up your open your Hyrule Compendium and tune the sensor to your picture of the sunshroom. Oh. The Sheikah Sensor Plus will then be able to sense sunshrooms. The detailed instructions are written down in the book on the desk there. You should read them. It seems like a nice opportunity to ask you, uh, ask if you'd mind bringing me three sunshrooms. I mean, I might do. You can find sunshrooms growing in Retsam Forest, I believe. The Sheikah Sensor Plus should make it a snap. Stop making it the... Stop! Stop the puns! I'm 
I'm going to Wimper. Coming in by air travel. Oh yeah, I'm pleased we have this ability. Now here's a lady who understands me and knows I don't like puns. How are we doing, Impa? Huh? Oh, I'm gonna do an old old woman voice again. I hear Pure was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. It was kind of a runaround. Not necessarily too easy to do. Now then, let me see. How are we doing? We got all the stuff back, I think, so. Yeah, look at that. Where's that? Ah, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. Looks about right. Is that what it looks like 100 years now? Not sure it does. Just a hunch. Yeah. It could be that if you want to visit locations within these those pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you've tried going to at least one of those locations. There's something I wish to give to you. I kind of want to do that now, actually. So, we... Okay, different buttons. Go minus, go to the album. Let's go here. This seems fun. Can't delete data. That's fine. Uh, how do we search for it, though? That's a fine question. We've got nothing here for locations, which is mildly annoying. How do we... How do we... How do we... Like, search for it? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I haven't quite found out how to do that. I presume there's quite a good reward at the end of it, so I'm inclined to try that in the future. But the last thing I'd like to do in this episode is go to that tower and actually fill in this map. Because it's very, bl very blank at the moment. I just about know where things are. But I'd like some kind of geographical reference point, if you know what I mean. It doesn't seem too far away. I may meet you there. It would appear that I've attracted the attention of some bad guys. That could be a problem, but I do have awesome sword. I did have a torch out for not so long ago. I might just, like, fly through this a little bit. Please ignore me if you will. I know you're now throwing explosives at me, but I don't really want to fight you. I'd like to sort of go around. I'm not a threat. I'm I'm an innocent bystander. There is a moblin up there, which I'm not definitely not interested in fighting at the moment. Just, you know, go about your business. It's raining. I'm really glad I didn't have to carry a torch during the rain. That could have been annoying. All sorts of stuff going on. The fox is fighting birds. I'm confused. Oh, and chew jellies. Be very, very quiet. I'm a wesky wabbit. I don't, know if that's, I don't know if that's genuine or not. I'm just going to go this way. I don't really want to fight them. They're having a bad time in the rain. I could make it worse. Not really my my place in the world to do it at the moment. Are they supposed to be around a campfire and the campfire's out? Or they're just regaling themselves over tales of conquest or something? I'm just going to go and hopefully not have to fight them. Oh, this looks very inviting. This looks like a place I'd really like to be. I think we can still get up there, maybe. It's a bit more of a challenge to do so, but I'm, you know, lots of thorns. There's still a path up there. We do have an extra stamina thing, so maybe we don't have to worry so much about the thorns, which I presume are just here to make this a bit more challenging. I think, like, Far Cry did this with some of the towers where sometimes they'd have different ways you had to get up. Maybe you had to jump, maybe you had to shimmy across a ledge or something. Basically variations on a very basic theme. And maybe I can only get up here if I have enough stamina. And hopefully I have enough stamina, because I've gotten here. I would like, I would hate to be, uh, uh, ushered away, because I don't have enough stamina to get to the top. I'm pretty sure I do. You know, you just gotta believe. Gotta believe. You just gotta believe, man. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I swear. I swear. I swear on everything! Okay. That was interesting. I'm going to eat the dubious food, because I'm curious. Go on. Yep, it's lovely. It's really good. Somehow gave us hearts. I th would have thought that it wouldn't. Although actually looking at it, if I want to get things done, maybe I could eat this? Because I now move faster? Seems about right. Speed up. Does it work on this as well? I think it does. Oh, it does just enough. It speeds me up by just about enough to allow me to make it to there. That is incredible. Admittedly, I did waste the dubious food to do that, but I wouldn't really call it wasting. I'd say sort of waste disposal. Really do have to climb all around this tower, not just up it. You've got to go sort of uh, horizontally to work out what's the best way up. And as we can see, not necessarily a clear path to the top. Hopefully, don't have to worry too much about speed. Should be enough to get to the top. I'm not entirely sure. We've now run out of uh, speed. So if that's a problem, we'll find out soon enough. But I am pleased with what they've done with this tower in a way. Because it's a relatively brainless thing to do, because you're just trying to get some information about the surrounding area. But it's had a, it's got an added challenge to it, which is nice. Makes you, ha makes you have to think about something which you're going to be doing a lot of in the future. So, 
maybe the next one will be slightly different. Maybe there will be one which we can only get at the very end of the game when we've got max stamina vessels or something. I'm not sure. All I care about at this moment in time is we can see what we're doing. It's very nice, very Ubisoft. Ubisoft done with a kind of refreshing way, though it wasn't too bad when Ubisoft did it. It's, it's, it's fine. Don't really mind. Let me know about what the area looks like and where we need to go. I kind of know where we need to go, but I also kind of want to know about this reward that Impa might give me. Or the quest which Impa's trying to give me. I don't really know. I'll have to look that up off screen, I feel. Or in my own time. This is my own time. In my other own time. We can now see what this area looks like. It's very mountainous, as you can see by the contour lines. It's okay. Uh, regional map extracted. Lots of areas where we haven't really done a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of exploring, but you can see the mountains. Some of them are quite hard to climb. It's quite hard to climb this, and it's not even that tall. But this has been Rebel Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. In the next episode, I'm going to try and look up what we have to do with this and how we can make this this where we want to go. I would like to go to some of these places just so we can get the thing which Impa wants to give us, which I kind of know what it is, and I kind of know it's really good. So interesting incentive there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.